What's up guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install three different picture styles um, such as cinema picture style, Technicolor picture style and Marvel Cine picture style. Each one of them is um, different, It'll help you get a different kind of cinematic look um, and, and each one um, is good for different situations such as I tend to use Technicolor outside and Marvel inside um, and cinema the one that you have to pay for I tend to use that like most often just because I paid for it so it must be better but um, it does tend to give off a better image as you'll see um, I'm also going to be showing you how to install Magic Lantern so you can effectively double the value of your camera you can bring in all these extra features such as um, different ISO settings, peaking, zebras all these things probably going over the top of your head but as you check out the features you'll learn what they do and you'll be able to um, up the value and quality of your productions so in order to install Magic Lantern we need to check that the camera's got the latest firmware to do that turn on the camera just make sure that the dial is set to M for now go into the menu and go across to the end and you'll see that this camera has got version 1.0.1 .1. it needs to be 1.0.2 for it to, to run Magic Lantern so we're going to upgrade that um, just move across to format format the card and turn the camera off and take the memory card out Now what you want to do is to take your memory card and put it in the machine. So head on over to the Canon website and type in your camera model and firmware and that will take you to the page um, for downloading the new firmware. I'm on a Mac so I'm going to go ahead and click this one here. I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and click accept and download. Whilst we're waiting for that to download, I'm just going to head over to the Magic Lantern website and click on this one here, 600D, direct download. Now if we open the uh, 600D firmware, 1.0.2, you you'll see the uh, firmware file there. Just drag that on over to the memory card and eject the memory card. So we're going to take the memory card and put it into the camera. And switch it on. Go into the menu and go across to firmware version and click update your camera is going to upgrade from the old to the new firmware now and that will just take uh, a minute or two and yeah, as you can see uh, you've got the new firmware version there we're just going to click on that to update Update is complete. Just click OK. And if you now check the firmware version, it's now 1.0.2. Um, we're just going to format the memory card because that file is now installed onto the system, so we don't need that anymore. So as you can see, it's still 1.0.2. Take your memory card and put it in the machine. And we're going to go over to the zip file and open that up. And we're going to select all of the files plus the uh, firmware. For us, it's the 600D. For you, it might be one of the other ones. And we're going to drag all those over to the root of the memory card.
Okay, we're just going to eject, eject the uh, memory card. Go ahead and put the card back into the camera and switch it on. We're going to go back into the menu and we're going to go to firmware version again and we're going to update firmware. That's going to um, start to install Magic Lantern. Or is it? Yes it is. Uh, as you can see, success. Um, you may now restart your camera. So turn the camera off. And turn the camera on. You'll notice if Magic Lantern's installed, you'll see some extra things down here, like how much is on the card. Now, if you go ahead and press the uh, bin button, you'll see that Magic Lantern's installed, and you can quite happily change any of these settings. Take your memory card and put it in the machine. Okay, so you're going to head on over to the following three websites. Cine Plus, Technicolor and Marvel Cine and the uh, links will be in the description um, so for the Cine Plus uh, scroll down um, click here to get the pitch style and then you have to donate uh, $19 so it's about £15 uh, the second and third one you can get for free uh, just click here to download Cine off Technicolor and Marvel's, there's a download link here. And when you've downloaded, it'll probably be in a zip folder. I've already downloaded them, so I've got them here Cinema, uh, Technicolor, and Marvel Cine. And now you're just going to plug in your camera and turn it on, and you should um, get the EOS utility pop up, which is this one here. Um, Make sure your camera is still in the uh, M mode and you're going to go over to uh, remote shooting slash camera settings. That will bring up this little box here and we're just going to go down to picture style and register user define style. Um, and then we, as you can see these are your standard ones. We're just going to click here to load in a new one. Um, so we're going to load in Cinema and click this file here. And user def2, we're going to load in Technicolor. And user 3, we're going to load in Marvel Cine. Just click OK, and that's just going to load them onto your camera. Now, what we want to do is we want to eject the camera, so we're just going to turn it off. And we're just going to turn it back on. And now we're going to move the dial around from the M to the video mode. And then same again, camera settings with slash remote shooting. And we're going to go picture style, register user to find style. And we're going to go user def1, and as you can see, cinema, user def2. Cine style and use the free Marvels. Just click OK. Uh, that will now be registered onto the movie um, mode. So you can go ahead and disconnect your camera. Just close this down. All right, guys. So we're just going to turn the camera on and put it into movie mode. Click on the menu. And we're going to go across, I've gone too far, uh, picture style, so it's the third one in, 
and if you scroll down you'll see your three new picture styles cinema, scene style, marvels um, if you select the first one uh, just click the info button uh, you'll see here um, you've got three recommended um, for sharpness contrast and saturation uh, usually I would have these first two all the way down and the third one about halfway if I remember right um, but just for now we're going to go with the recommended um, and we're just going to go back Go to scene style, info, just put that on the recommended, and that should be in the middle, yep. And third one, info, recommended. So usually you turn the first two all the way down and the third one about halfway um, so you can then uh, edit in, in post and have much greater control over those things um, but I think what these styles are trying to say is um, the way they work is they actually work better if you use the recommended settings because um, you don't actually need to turn it all the way down because um, of the way it works but um, I mean if you do it a different way and you have it all the way down just give it a go just uh, test see what's best I suppose I'm doing it this way at the moment I'll probably uh, go all the way down in the future just like that and see if there's any difference but I don't think there'll be much so there you have it